Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a top-down 2D controller in get all 4. To get started, let's go to create a new character body 2D. We'll need to add in a sprite. This will be our actual player's art. So I'll just load in the logo for now. We need to create a collision shape to surround it. So collision shape 2D. In the shape, select rectangle. We'll go ahead and scale this up to our player's sprite and we can call it player and it's going to create a new script you'll get some default code here we don't need the gravity and the jump velocity since this is a top-down controller we also don't need to check if it is on the floor and we also don't need these input checks now let's go ahead over to project project settings input map we need to add our WASD keys here so left right up, down. these will be what we reference in these scripts so i'll press a for left d for right w, up, down, down. and back on our script now we can go ahead and remove these ui prefixes since we created our own input maps and since get axis is only one float value we actually need to create a vector to allow for up and down so input vector and we'll add in our up and our down and now we need to remove the dot x after our velocity and down here, we need to create a new line that will be for our dot Y, since move toward is only for floats. So we head back over to our 2D scene, create a new camera, and we press play. You'll see that we can move around our character. And since we are doing this by getting a get vector, it is automatically normalized. So if I press right and up, we will go to the same speed as regular. And now to make the camera follow the player, we will set process callback to physics. We'll create a new script. Let's go and control and click over our player. And we'll set a variable speed to 10. And we will set our position to lerp position, our player dot position and our speed times delta. So whenever our player moves, the camera will follow at the set speed. We can also edit our speeds from the inspector by simply typing at export. And here we can edit our speed. So if we press play now, you'll see that our camera follows our player. Anyways, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.